So we got Big Mac Sam in the green room. Um, let's bring him in right now. Oh, oh. <laughs> what's going on, Sam? How are hey, you? Hey, how how you doing, man? <laughs> doing well, doing well, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much, guys. This no is problem. Sam, Big Mac Sam, right on YouTube, man. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your schedule. Yeah, to, no uh, problem, man. Today, man. So you you saw the video? Yeah. Um. Well. Let, let me just bring the video back up and, sure. you know, let's just talk through it real quick okay. um, and tell me what you see here, which tell me if, if I'm off base. So let's you, you want me no, to run, you run through it? Do you want <laughs> you me to good. run through it or do you want me to go frame by frame? How, how do you want it done, bro? Um, Yeah, go right. Go right through it. All right. Let's just go right through it. Yeah. OK, see how the uh, truck driver is coming too fast, too close. Right. <laughs> He should have noticed that a long time ago. Right. You know, I tell when I was giving highway lessons to my students, I always told them, look, uh, 12 to 17 seconds ahead of you, you know, or like 15 seconds ahead of you for every um, every 10 miles per hour you're going, you should be a car length away. So if you're going 50 miles per hour, at least five cars lengths away or more, and it's better even more than that. You know, I always tell them. You know, and, and I mean, and and first of all, that driver with that white car right there, he stopped on a highway with traffic moving. I mean, come on. Yeah. You, you never, ever stop on, on a highway that's traffic is just blowing by. I mean, the, the only time you stop on a highway that's traffic is blowing by like that is never. <laughs> I told my students never. Just don't do it. <laughs> so what? Is I mean I know what the proper thing to do is I, I yeah. probably I mentioned it at the top of the live but tell us as the professional driving school mm -hmm. instructor what are you supposed to do when you miss your exit? That's that's a good question. I mean it's I mean common sense is going to tell you if you miss the first exit, take the next one. The next one might be farther down a mile, two miles because I've driven across this country. Sometimes I miss my exit to go to a restaurant or something. You know, and, and if you miss your exit, just grab another one. You know, even this, there's a million and one ways to get to a destination. Right. If you miss your first exit, take the next one because this can happen right here. You just don't stop in the middle of the highway and just try to take that exit. Wait until cars clear off and take that next one. Just keep going. Keep driving until you see the next one. When you see the next one, you're going to have to do a U-turn and get on the other side of the highway to come back. I mean, it's so many different ways to get to your destination. <laughs> right. So so something that I, I, I found out doing my research, um, one, that question, what we just discussed, is actually on your learner's permit um, with a written test um, yeah. for your license here in the state of New York. But something interesting that I found is that 31%, and I forgot the actual number that they based it off of, but 31% of the people that took that exam actually got it wrong. And I guess whatever polling that they did, whatever questionnaire, now, 31%, which, 31%. Which exam? Which exam are you talking about? The New York State driver's exam. Oh, just the knowledge test, the written test you're talking yes, about? Correct. Oh, yeah, yeah. 31% said mm -hmm. that, well, 31% got it wrong, and 31% said that was a hard question. So, uh, again, we, we know that this is not here in the United States, but I yeah. think that, you know, there has to be something written somewhere. Um, now, go ahead. Now, are you talking about the uh, licensed drivers that took a test, you mean? Yes, correct. That written okay. exam. The written exam that you have yeah. to take, thirty-one yeah. percent got that question wrong, which is absolutely insane. Yeah, but, that, that's that's wow. And as a matter of fact, when I do my five-hour classes on the weekend and on, I do my five-hour classes on Saturday uh, morning and Monday, every other Monday in the evening from five to ten. And what I do is I have twenty-six questions in the beginning of the class. And I have a bunch of questions with educational material at the end of the class. So in the beginning of the class, the questions are to see how much they know, you know, to see what, what, what they know. 
And at the end of the class is to see what they picked up from the class. And a lot of the questions that I ask them, they get it wrong also. And even though they, they got their permit, they passed, but they still getting some wrong answers and I correct them, you know? All right. All right. There's one thing that I picked up real quick and I'm going to get to that. All right. All right. So uh, something that I just saw real quick. Now, uh, again, we, we saw that the tractor trailer here started taking a little evasive action. But if you look real quick, Too late. All right, he, I don't know if he was, just take a look. Watch the white car. He's been sitting there for a minute, yeah. but he starts to move forward just a little bit. And I think that's when the truck driver actually starts to react. So just take a look. Yeah, yeah. He should have been able to predict some bad action that that driver that in the car was going to be doing, you know, because when you're when you're a driver, you're supposed to at least kind of predict other drivers actions, you know. Gotcha. All right. Ahan just uh, checked in. He said this happened in East China. So thank you so much for doing that oh, research. Oh, wow. OK, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, All right. So wow. is there, there anything else that you see here that could have been prevented other than the white car continuing down the road to get off at the next exit? Is there anything that you as the professional, mm -hmm. what, what would you have told your students or what actually forget about that? What could have been done differently? You mean with the uh, truck drivers, the way they acted, or the driver? Just anything that could have prevented it. I mean, if this was a sunny day, mm -hmm. you know, obviously yeah. the roadway is wet from what we can see yeah. here. Is there something that you would have done differently? What do you think could have been done to prevent this accident from happening? Just don't stop in the middle of the highway. Just keep going. And I also t um, tell my students, now they, they change the following distance, you know, the vehicle in front of you they changed it from three seconds to four seconds. So when I was taking the training at the college, they, you know, a safe following distance used to be three seconds. They changed it to four seconds. And a lot of um, drivers don't know this, or even some of the uh, driving instructors that had to uh, tell them, I had to tell one particular driving instructor about that because he didn't get the memo. You know, he, I think has it when he was trained, he, he was trained with the old stuff, but they did studies and they upped it to uh, four seconds. The safe following distance is four seconds. And that's for dry roads. I always tell students for dry roads, if it's going to be wet roads, you want to double that. And if it's going to be snow, sleet, you know, yeah, black, uh, black ice, you want to triple that or just stay off the roads completely. All right. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Listen, thank you so much, man. Yeah, no problem. Um, you know, um, just hearing it from, you know, the professional who's teaching our, you know, up and yes. coming drivers in a sense, you yes. know, the rules of the road. It's very important to hear what you're teaching them. Um, but thank you so much for taking the time out to no you know, into the uh, live. I'm sorry. There was a little technical difficulty where you're getting, oh, you that's know, okay. <laughs> getting the key to get into the studio. In a yeah, sense. That, that, that's all right. Um, but I definitely appreciate you joining us, man. And, you know, I, I hope to catch up with you very soon. Okay. As I said before, guys, we have Sam from uh, Big Mac Sam uh, right here on YouTube. Please subscribe. Go check thank out you, his guys. channel check out his work and, you know, be a supporter of his channel. Sam, thank you so much, brother. I appreciate no you taking no the time problem. out. Take care. All, right, All right. Thank you so much.